Has Mercedes Monet made a big mistake? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm talking about, because after covering wrestling for some of the biggest wrestling news outlets over the last 10 years, I followed Mercedes Monet, and I have become a huge fan of Mercedes Monet and what she's been able to do in wrestling, what she's been able to do in WWE, New Japan, and AEW. Because Mercedes Monet is someone that has legitimately transcended the pro wrestling industry. She has gone into acting. She has gone into modeling, and she's also a businesswoman because she wears not one but multiple hats. And she was a big-time star in WWE to the point where when she left, when she had the creative falling out with Vince McMahon in the summer of 2022, her name being on the market well, it generated buzz, and everyone was speculating where she would go. Now, obviously, she ended up in New Japan, where she had a very successful run, making her promotional debut in January of 2023, before ultimately being sidelined with a devastating injury that resulted in her undergoing surgery some months later, putting her on the sidelines even more for an extended period of time before arriving in All Elite Wrestling in March of 2024 on an episode of Dynamite. Now, what she was able to do for that show, the big business episode, somewhat similar to CM Punk, although not as successful as CM Punk, but rightfully so. Punk, he hadn't been around for many, many years. This was his big return to wrestling. It was in Chicago, one of the hotbeds of pro wrestling in general. And Monet, well, she did it in Boston, another hotbed for pro wrestling, but not as quite as hot as Chicago. I digress. They did big business for that episode. And since then, she has been used regularly on AEW television. Now, I have been supportive, but I've also been harsh on the way that AEW has used Mercedes Monet, because when she first joined the promotion, Everyone knew that that was a big deal, and with a big deal comes big money because she's a big name, right? And so when she joined AEW, everyone was very optimistic that, okay, she's going to be able to hit the reset button on the women's division. And AEW knew this going in because they made it very clear we have the women's programs and then we have a Mercedes Monet program. And you only do that for a handful of of top stars. That's how big of a star that AEW thinks of Mercedes Monet. Now, what is this big mistake that I'm talking about? Did she make a mistake by going to AEW? Like, let's let's be real here. I think this needs to be addressed. Let's look at what they've been able to do with Monet, with Monet since she made her AEW debut. Because if you Go back, there was multiple months where she was on television, but she would not wrestle. She would not get in physical altercations. Now, we later learned that that was due to her not being medically cleared, but then that leads you to believe, why did you put her on television to begin with if she can't even work for a handful of months? Well, I think it was a panic move by Tony Khan. He's already paying this woman a lot of money. Reportedly, she signed her deal in December of 2023. It was March at the time. Let's get this woman on TV and start to get a return on investment. Now, since then, yes, she has worked a handful of matches, right? Let's go through it. So she made her AW debut by beating Willow Nightingale at Double or Nothing. She followed that up on the May 29th episode of Dynamite by going over Sky Blue. Then... She returned to in-ring action on the June 12th episode of Dynamite, where she retained her TBS championship over Zexus. Now she is slated to take on in a title versus title match, putting her women's championship, TBS women's championship, on the line at Forbidden Door, right? She's going to be challenging and taking on New Japan Strong Women's Champion Stephanie Valker, okay? Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the Forbidden Door concept. I think it's outdated. I think the return on investment has dwindled in recent years, right? But they're going with it. They're going to have Monet win this championship. She was supposed to win it. 
last year in a match with Willow Nightingale in which she got injured, right? Like, that was the plan. She had to alter those plans due to the injury. Do I think her joining AEW was a mistake? I don't think it's fair to say yes right now because I think it's been too early. But if you look at all of the things that I've just listed quickly, you put her on TV when you knew she wasn't medically cleared and wouldn't be medically cleared for quite some time. Then you had her go out and do some ridiculous promos or at least allow her to do some ridiculous promos, which did not get over. And you consistently did that until she pivoted with her promos, which have gotten better. You then don't do the program with Julia Hart at Double or Nothing. Instead, you have or a dynasty in April. You could have done it then. If you couldn't have done it at dynasty, then have Julia Hart wait off and put off surgery and do the match at double or nothing. Cause she was still working at the time with an injury, right? You could have done the end. You could have done the match. Then you could have done the Willow Nightingale feud and you could have put her with someone different than what she's facing at Forbidden Door. It's a waste. It's just like MJF, right? His match at Forbidden Door. It's a waste. Putting Will Ospreay versus Swerve Strickland at Forbidden Door instead of Wembley? Waste. Do I think that she should have signed with WWE instead of AEW? I think it's too early to say. Did she make a mistake by choosing AEW over WWE? At this point, it's too early, but no. She's getting paid a lot of money for a very, very reduced schedule. So for her personally, it is not a mistake. Long term, because you know she's under a multi-year deal, probably a four-year deal, if not a three-year deal, maybe, maybe. Will that be something that hurts her career going forward? Well. If booking like this continues, yeah, yeah, you could say that. As of right now, it's too early. I don't think she made a big mistake by signing with AEW just yet. But man, oh man, they really, really need to turn things around with Mercedes Monet, in my opinion. This woman has a lot of potential. She could really, really help this promotion. But I don't think Tony Khan and I don't think those around him have helped her. And I'd also think that you can also put the blame on her as well with her promos, right? Those promos were not good whatsoever, but things can be turned around. Things can improve. Things can get better. I have hope. I have optimism for Mercedes Monet. Let me know down in the comments area below. What do you think? Did Monet make a major mistake, a big mistake by signing with AEW instead of WWE? Let me know in the comments area below.